locked in. Look at what we have here, folks. To the only show that matters. The cream of the crop. Duke loves wrestling. And there is no one that does it better than your host. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. The Duke. And I'm all out of bubblegum. No chance. That's what you got. I I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on. That's that's the the opening lyric to Vince McMahon's entrance song. God. No chance. Why in would hell. I know that? No chance. In Why hell. would I pay attention because to anything Vince McMahon everywhere does? Everywhere he goes when he walks out, that's what's playing. He probably has one of those stupid buttons on his desk like the that was easy button. Sure. But it says that. That's right. Cuz he's so full of himself. Just, Coincidentally full of shit. So, look. look. I got to tell you, it was a little controversial last week, the, the way that you carried on. So just be, <laughs> let's Please. let's make this a... What? Because I'm the only person who uh, well, talks about this kind of thing that's willing well, to actually talk about what's going on? You you definitely upset a few people uh, oh, out there. Oh, wah. Okay. Well, just please, so you know. Have them have them write me a... Uh, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope so I can mail them a little something back. Oh How about God. that? All right. Welcome back to Duke Loves please. Wrestling. I am the Duke. People And upset. yes, I do enjoy doing not only pro wrestling impersonations, but also musician impersonations. I want to keep on doing them, no matter what my illustrious co-host, the Boston bad boy, I Mike Pelosi, says. You, I don't even need words because you, you're already you already got me off on the wrong foot. By the way, all hell is broken loose outside of the secret location. Have you noticed out the window? Yeah, it's, it's like a monsoon. It's out there. like a monsoon out That's there. That's right, gorilla monsoon. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, God rest his soul. Yeah, exactly. But See? yeah, you got me off on the wrong foot already, and I don't even know if I want to talk to you anymore at all. Well, look I, at all. You ever, know what? Again, folks. Every now and then, you just got to kind of jump outside of the box and, and, and pull peel back the curtain, so to speak. Peel the I like to call it peeling the onion. Yeah, sure. Well, the Boston bad boy, uh, we got a strong response from last week's show because we were discussing Vince McMahon, Baron Corbin, concussions, the NFL. There was a lot of real things life. going on there. I like to call it real and, life. And the Boston bad boy got very emotional. You know, a lot Listen, of you asked me, was he crying in the studio? Which he he cries in the studio often. So that's no. That's, that's nothing because new. I have to sit next to you. And yeah. trust me, I don't care how <laughs> tough you think you are. You're gonna sit with an hour with this guy. You will break down. Well, I was not crying. Well, first of all, you were very all emotional. Of my point, all of my points yeah. were extremely valid. You were emotional. That, that's number one. Okay. Number two, I don't want to hear any more any more bitching about how people are offended and oh yeah because all you like to do is blow smoke up the butt of Be all careful. these wrestling publications all these people all these big time people They're my friends and not one of them first of all not one of them is your friend not one of them and not one of them <laughs> wants to talk about a real issue that's going on They're my friends with, with with something they love all these people I'm a wrestling nerd it's still real to me everything's real and but when something real happens they, they, they turn their back because they can't handle it. It's like, oh my God, you know, uh, we can't talk about that. Don't bring that into my game. Don't cool. bring that. Don't bring real life into my escape. Hey, you know what? These are the people. These are the people who are actually going out there to entertain you. So you're going to have to listen to what happens to them on the other side of it. Nobody wants to put themselves in a position where, you know, Vince McMahon and the WWE goes after them, which I don't blame them. Oh, please. Now, look, we don't care. I mean, whatever. We can. We can you mean speak to tell me. Vince McMahon, they think in their minds, yes. they're like you. They no. have, no, these quote unquote publications are like you because they think that there's, that Vince McMahon is actually paying attention to their little publication. Well, Vince McMahon, he pays attention to me. No, he doesn't. He doesn't but know he you. Does. But he does. He doesn't know you. You need to get that through he your head. He doesn't know you. He knows. You know why? Because okay. what do you want? He I, in that case, he would have shut us down because I opened my mouth and spoke up against I'm his I'm the only thing saving you right all now. All the stuff that's going on. I'm oh, the only really? one saving oh, you right please. now. If okay? it comes down to you saving me, we're all in big trouble. <laughs> Let me tell you. We're all. If Duke is doing the saving, ladies and gentlemen, oh, my God. Uh, I hate to tell you, but you might want to get your, uh, your, your bug out bag and head for the hills. All right, well, listen, Boston bad boy. What? Calm down a little bit, but I'm going to tell you I'm something. Calm. This okay. is me calm, by the way. I'm going to tell you something. We were right about something last week. We Are you French all of a sudden? We? Well, I was right. Whatever. I was right. Whatever. I already we, looked at your little notes over we're there. We're a team. I was, oh, we're oh a team. now we're a team. <laughs> we're a team. Oh, now we're yeah, a team. We're a team. Okay, we'll see. Go ahead. Finish. No, we were please, right about ahead. something, and, yeah. and, and everybody please. else finally started opening their mouth about it, including Dave Meltzer. Dave Meltzer. Got a lot of respect for you. You're you're Here a legend in the business, but I a have man to who say, should know more than me. Well, look, Dave Meltzer, you could have you could have had the scoop on this story, That's right? And you chose not to stick your neck out there and 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 run with it, and now you're playing catch up. <laughs> and look, 
I don't really care how you feel about what I'm saying about this, Dave, because you know that I'm telling the truth. It just is what it is. But I'm just saying, it's kind of interesting that after Duke loves wrestling last week, after the Boston bad boy with his emotional things and what have you, Emotion. um, Emotion. me defending my friend Vince McMahon, after that Forget happens, friend. suddenly Dave Meltzer wants to talk about it. Yeah, well, you know what? Hello, wake up. Yeah, well. Wake up. He's supposed to be the guy, he right? He is the guy. All right, so you tell, I don't know. You tell me he's the guy I take your word for. Sure, it. sure. Why am I the guy talking about it? What well, the hell do I know? That's a problem. That's that's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem for him, not a problem for me. Sure. So, sure. guess what? I'm now like the Washington Post of wrestling yeah. because I went there and I wasn't afraid, okay? Yep. I'm like Woodward and Bernstein. Uh -oh. Together is one, younger and good looking. Well, here's the thing. Now Dave wants to talk about the fact that, yeah. WWE did not know that Corbin was part of the NFL Get the hell out of concussion here. lawsuit. Get the hell didn't out of know. here. They absolutely didn't know, according to Dave, which we had already reported that. Right. But that's beside the point. Well, it doesn't, you know. it, it makes no sense. Here's sure. the thing. I think they didn't know. They knew. The guys talked to each other. Everybody knows what's, you know. Oh, yeah. How did they not know the guy was in the well, NFL? They wouldn't have, but they didn't know he's part of the lawsuit against the NFL. It never occurred to them. They would have never put that doctor in front of them and say all that nonsense if they really knew. So, I, hey, they didn't so know. So, either, either it's gross incompetence on their part or sure. willful ignorance. Well, so, you know, it's, it, it remains to be seen what's going to happen here. But it all goes back to the point where something isn't right about this whole thing. Sure, sure. So, how do we get to the bottom of it? Talking about it. So, if the rest of the quote-unquote uh, news sources for professional wrestling, which is hysterical to begin with. Well, come on. Uh... Be Want nice. to talk about this? Be nice. They should get on it. Be nice. I'll say it. I don't mind. I look at I look at stuff you tell me. I read what you you know. We talk about stuff, and if something occurs to me like it did last week, I'm going to talk about it. Look, I don't because I don't have to worry about Vince McMahon, you know, coming down to my house and uh, you know. Don't don't let it all go to your head. But here's the point: you were right about something there, and I and I give you credit. So. Uh, you know, everyone else is playing catch up on a story that, quite frankly, they should have a scoop on. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's the point there. But hey, people felt that you were being a little emotional. Okay. And well, they're wrong. Well, they're wrong. Well, look, some of them were actually giving you a compliment the fact that you were so emotional. You know what I mean? And it just is what it is. Well, but, because I like to stand up for what's right. Okay. All right. Well, so in, in that line of thought, sure. I, I have a little, I did a little more thinking about it. Okay. When did when did this doctor allegedly meeting happen? This this meeting with the staff of uh, WWE, the wrestlers, the uh, the office staff, this doctor. When was that supposed to have happened? Jeez, that happened within the past like six weeks, about a month to six weeks. It, it occurred. Okay, so I don't watch. I hate wrestling. I don't watch wrestling. But what has happened? So six weeks ago, this happened. Sure. What's up with Baron Corbin since then? I'm just curious. Okay. I mean, you're the guy that has stats and figures and Wikipedia knowledge in your brain about wrestling. Tell me what has happened since then. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to go there because I, what I don't want to do is open up more of a can of worms. Why? Well, it's not your can of worms. What do you care? Okay. Well, nobody, open it up. Nobody else is talking. Do you care about, about this. this sport? Do you care about this? I, I do you care about wrestling? Care about wrestling. Did, did wrestling sure. grow? Did you grow up with wrestling? Yes. Yes. Is a is a wrestler named Ric Flair your hero? Hundred percent. Okay. So is this your world? Are you a super fan? I'm, sure. I'm not. Stand up for it. This is now. Go into this. So okay. in the six weeks. When a guy stood up and, and, and stood up against this crap from the WWE and their hokum doctor, what has happened to this guy? All right. So there's been a trend where... Oh, a trend. For some reason, Baron Corbin has not been wrestling <laughs> as frequently... <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> ...as he had been for the entire year. Yeah, isn't that funny, huh? So I, I, had, I checked out the uh, Internet Wrestling Database, which okay. is a fantastic website, folks. Um, the idea is they track... The entire career of the wrestler. Okay. Every match that they have gets put up on that numbers, website, stats, the whole bit. Whether they won or lost, that whole the whole nine yards on that thing. Great website. Okay. I'm not going to say it's 100 percent accurate because I don't run it. Right. But every time I've referenced it, uh, it's proven to be true. So, so you looked at that. You looked at some facts and figures. Yes. About Baron Corbin. And I and I noticed that roughly for the year mm -hmm. corbin was averaging about nine matches per month okay okay that nine includes matches. house shows that's tv right. pay-per-view the whole nine yards about nine matches per month gotcha um now some months he'd have 11 
some months he, he'd yeah. have less. I whatever, understand what it, average means. Yeah, average about okay, nine, nine matches per month. Things started getting a little strange, though, recently. Mm-hmm. He went from nine matches per month. And, On average. And then once we hit July, yeah. he dropped to six matches. Interesting. For the entire month. That's a, if I'm if my math is correct, that's a 30% drop. Sure. But then it got worse for August. <laughs> Four matches in August. Ooh. That's funny. You know, I don't really believe in coincidences. Well. I mean, just in the universal sense of coincidences. Especially when you overlay a map of what's going on in the big picture. Again, the big picture that everyone's afraid to talk about. Six weeks ago, this guy stood up to the company, and in those six weeks, he lo- he, he dropped 30% for the first leg of it, and then down to almost, what, 60% yeah. in the next... What? Hey, maybe they gave him some time off. Oh, maybe get this the hell was, out of here. Maybe this was pre-planned. What? Maybe this was pre-planned. Was this like, hey, we want you to go down to Florida with Anthony and take care of a few things. <laughs> That's exactly what they did to him. They good fellas them. Come on. They Come pushed them out. Come on. Listen, I'm and not And here's why it's so stupid. Uh-oh. Here's why it's so stupid. Uh-oh. Again, it's like Trump firing the guy who's investigating him. Whether it doesn't matter what the facts are anymore when you do something so stupid because now it looks like you're doing something wrong. And so, what are we supposed to think? So, in and and they're being mum on the whole subject. They're not going to come out and say anything. So tell me Tell me what's well, going on here. Once again, maybe this was pre-planned. Maybe they gave Corbin some time off. Maybe he's nursing some injuries. I don't know. But I will say this much. It is very strange. I'll tell you what's for... not strange about it. Because, let's see, if Baron Corbin is now wrestling four matches versus nine, uh, that's less hits he's taking. And what does that mean? Well, you know what we can do? If we pull him out of matches uh, and he doesn't get a concussion from us, we'll just say it was the NFL that gave oh, him the concussion. Boy. Oh, boy. We'll just say it's the NFL that gave him a concussion. Speculating again. Look at you. Listen, I-, I don't know what the truth is. I am speculating that perhaps, here's the facts. If you wrestle less, the chance of your injury is less from wrestling. So, it goes to, you know, it stands to reason that if they just stop this guy and now that they know that Magically, they know he was in the NFL and part of the NFL concussion thing. They're going to say, well, those concussions, that didn't come from us. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Moving on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here's the thing. What else are we supposed to do but speculate when the WWE acts shady about what's going on with all this stuff? They don't want to just come out and talk about it. They don't want to have a statement about it. They keep their, their pressure. They're obviously, things are happening to the roster. Uh, because of it, no one wants. They have people running scared. It's ridiculous. If this, could you imagine this happening in the NFL? Could you imagine this happening in Major League Major League Baseball? That is why the WWE has always been right on the very edge of investigation, because it's this shady carnival stuff that they try and pull that just doesn't fly. If you want to be a big time operation, and guess what? They're a big time operation, sure. as you love saying. Sure. Sure. So if you're going to be a publicly traded company on Wall Street in a big-time operation, you better start friggin' acting like one. Well, That's all I've got to say about it. All right. Here's what I know. Corbin was in the title picture. Now, I don't know what the heck's going on. But once again, if this changes, then everything you just said is, is questionable. All right? What if, he, what if his production goes back up? What Doesn't if they matter. give him more matches again and all that good it's stuff? It's called a punishment. Then it's no, it's a no. He was put on leave. It was a coincidence. A coincidence. Sure. Why him? He's not fired. Why him? Well, I don't know. Oh, Paige wasn't yeah. fired either. Well, She's still on the roster. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about that. Sure. Let's talk about someone who actually did something that actually broke a rule, and that requires punishment. Okay. 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 That's okay. You know, so don't go there. No, that's where I'm going because that's where we have to go with these kind of things. All right. All right. Well, here's what I'll say. Baron Corbin, you know, we feel for you, brother. I don't know what the heck's going on. Hope everything is okay. Uh, you do, but you do know what's going on. Uh, well, come, come on, on. You, please don't. You know what's Just, going on. on. We all know what's going on look, here. Look, I don't need it's connected. People it's connected. in the wrestling world getting upset with me because you can't control your 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 emotions here. Okay, oh, really? I thought all, we were a team. We I thought we were. Do, now we're not. Well, now we're not a team. About this oh, okay, you know, you're the problems. worst tag team partner no. anybody no. ever could be. Stuck I don't want with. problems with Vince. I don't want problems with Dave Meltzer. Oh, please. I don't want problems with any of these people. Listen, we've okay? already asked. Uh, the WWE, if they want to come on this show and sure, talk about it, sure. We, that invitation stands uh, alongside the folks who are on the other side of it. Sure, anyone's welcome to come here and talk about it. If they don't like our speculate, if they don't like our talking about it, if they don't like us looking at the known facts of the case and talking about here, this is where we're at, and letting people know about it. Come on, yeah, we'll. T- I'll. You can sit and have 
40 minutes to just run your mouth about it. I don't care. But the way I'm running this show, because this is, I run this show. Oh, you run this show. I run this show. I mean, the, the, the name of the show is my name, but you run this Listen, show. Listen, that happens a long time, you know? Oh, yeah. The McDonald's <laughs> brothers didn't run McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. It was There was a guy behind that. <laughs> this guy. So, all I'm saying is, they're more than happy to come on. And if, if anyone's pissed off about this, it's because they're afraid. And it's just sad. All right, I got to get out of this. Uh, Vince, call me. It's time to run the ropes. I give my opinion on the top five stories in the world of pro wrestling. I educate this knucklehead, the Boston bad boy, who hasn't been paying attention. Well, you know what? Uh, I've actually figured a way to pay even less attention, 50% uh, less attention, because I figured if I have to sit through your pompous lecturing oh about what's God. going on in the wrestling world, I'm at least going to have a little company while I do it. So please welcome to the Duke Loves Wrestling Podcast, Mr. Just Larry. You there, Larry? Just Larry is here. <laughs> I'm in my glorious retirement. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> See, I know you, I, Duke, I know that you are a fan of Just Larry. No, I'm not a fan of And I of know Just that Larry. you really think that Just Larry's opinions are right on point when it comes to professional wrestling. So we're going to work through the top five stories this week uh, with our friend, Just Larry, sitting All in right. with us. Well, look, Just Larry, you were very disrespectful the last time you were on this show, and I'm just going <laughs> to let you know I'm not going to put up with it today. So just understand that, okay? Just Larry hears what you're saying, Duke, and guess what? Just Larry doesn't care. <laughs> just Larry says and does what Just Larry wants to do. Just, and just. You know what, Duke? Uh, 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 you know what, Duke? Just Larry is going to tell you to shove it, buddy. Ooh. Shove it. Shut I want to know why this guy's talking about himself like he's a different person. Just, or something. just Larry is the H. Ross Perot of the Duke Loves Wrestling Clearly. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, let's get, let's move on here because this is like the educational segment of the show, and I'd like to just get right. through it as soon as we can, well, please. first and foremost, the NBA Hall of Famer, uh, Charles Barkley, <laughs> he visited Ric Flair yeah. in the hospital. Right, today, I saw that which picture. Which is really cool. I yeah. saw that picture. You know, Rick looks, definitely looks like a guy who's been in the hospital yep. for a little while there. But I mean, uh, standing next to a guy like Barkley, who's and a, a giant, sure, so it's like sure. it doesn't really help it. Yeah. <laughs> but Barkley was kind enough to visit his friend Ric Flair. They yep. partied a lot together and what have you. Uh, just Larry, what, what did you think of the photo of Flair and, and Barkley together there? There's one time I know Duke and Just Larry go back and forth. But you know what? Just Larry saw that pick and Just Larry was moved to tears. <laughs> wow. Well, that's pretty that's serious. Just, you now, know? Just Larry, did, did you just wake up from a nap? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Just Larry was messing around with just the ladies, huh? What's going on <laughs> yeah. here? Did you have a long night? Just Larry, what happened? You got to pep us up a little bit. Just Larry has his, his nights, his <laughs> long nights, uh, you know, Just Larry. Just Larry's with the ladies sometimes. Just Larry sometimes is at home with the little... With the little wine. Oh, 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 wine. <laughs> not a beer, not whiskey, <laughs> wine. Okay. <laughs> right. Which, there's nothing little about it. There's probably a lot of wine. Yeah, yeah. when you buy okay. it by the gallon, it's not It's not yeah. little wine, Come on. just Larry. Come on, just Larry. All right. All right. Well, anyways, uh, to Ric Flair, uh, shout out to, to the whole Flair family. Once again, Nate, you know, we wish you the best there, brother. We know that you, you are recovering, which is fantastic. Charles Barkley, cl classy move visiting your friend. Well, I almost I almost posted under that picture that you shared, which was, what does Peter Vesey think about this? Because oh, no. we know how much he loves Stop Charles it. Barkley. Stop <laughs> so next time we have Vesey on the show, we're going to have to ask him about that. Jason Jordan, almost. Let me repeat that. Yeah. Jason Jordan, almost. Almost beat Roman Reigns. Who the hell is Jason Jordan? Well, he's Kurt Angle's son. Come on. Just Larry, help me out here. Tell me why I should be interested in this, Just Larry. Just Larry sees Jason Jordan as the future. Wow. See that? Just Larry sees Jason Jordan as the next man to carry that company. Bold words from Just Larry. I know. I know. Just Larry sees the comments. Oh, Jason Jordan can't work the mic. He's bland. Just Larry hears all these things. I got to tell you, Just Larry, uh, Jason Jordan is a bland name for a wrestler. I will. Well, I, I do have to say let's that. Let's not be disrespectful. Well, we could always adjust the gimmick, right? Well, let's. But that's the man's name. Don't be disrespectful, buddy. Well, let's talk about your name. What about my? I'm the Duke. Who yeah. You want? Okay. Let's talk yeah. about that. Okay. Well, shout out to to uh, Jason Jordan. You know, shout out to his dad, Kurt Angle. Great job. You you slapped around that no good Roman Reigns, which you know I always appreciate. 
Um, and also, Haven Rain, I know that you like Roman Reigns. You're no good out there. And you and Just Larry are two peas in a pod, by the way. I, see, you know, that, I'm going to take a shot at but, but Just Larry agreed that it was good that he beat your nemesis. Yeah, so but, he's technically on your side exactly. at this point. Duke, Let's see, Duke. nothing can please this Duke. No, he, he has to I'm find not. a problem with everything. He's like an old lady. Well, Everything's a problem. I'm never going to be too close to Just Larry because I understand that. You're never every... going to be too close to Roman Reigns or all these wrestlers you think you're friends with. At least Just Larry talks to you. Right, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I, I mean, Duke, Duke, just let us just trying to, I'm, just let us gonna throw you an olive branch. <laughs> uh, just let us, it's just going to tell you as much as we have our differences of opinion, I marginally respect you. Oh my God. You know, I, I, just you know, let me hold, hold on, hold on. Just like it feels a little sick saying it right now. <laughs> All right. Well, you're not All the right. only one that feels don't, don't a little give sick. Give me your backhanded comments, just Larry. Give me a break. Just Larry had a little bit of dry heaving. <laughs> it's all that wine. <laughs> that's that's why you drink that wine, just Larry. You're Still scaring me wine. here. But Duke, Larry, oh. <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> Oh, 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 the Lawrence, okay. Oh, hit, hit the bell. Boy. Hit the All bell. Right. Let's move this along. Here. Jesus. We can, listen, I, uh, this is like, this is like, this, this is like taxi cab confessional over here. I know. It, 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 just Larry, <laughs> I bring you over here to add a little life to this endless, interminable segment of the show, and you're killing me, Just Larry. All right. Well, look, in Duke's wrestling crew, all right, yeah. the greatest group out there and on Facebook, yeah. there was a huge debate. About. about the route, the Mount Rushmore of WWE wrestlers. Okay. Okay. Now here's the point. I'm a little sick and tired of people. Okay. I'm Wait, just gonna, now I'm you know, say now this you know how I feel. Yeah. I'm when a little I sick and tired of people. The WWE. Okay. Yeah. Monopolized the wrestling business. Okay. They went and acquired all of the different properties that at one time were their competitors. Okay. We're talking about Georgia Championship Wrestling, World Class. You know, everything, UWF, whatever. So if you acquired all of that, yeah, everyone who's ever wrestled for those other companies is part of the WWE. Now they are. Yeah, part of their history. <laughs> it, hold on just, Larry. So if you're part of their history, when you talk about who should be on the Mount Rushmore, yeah. you include everybody. I agree. Who's under the umbrella of well, the main organization. Well, I agree, organization. but here's the thing, and, and, and let's compare it to another sport. If you're a professional ball player, okay, and so you played 40 seasons with the Yankees, and then you went to California and played with the Mets, and then you wanted to retire as a Yankee, you can do that. You can come back and you're not going to retire. You don't retire as an MLB player. You retire under the banner of where you were. So why wouldn't these guys be recognized for where they did a majority of their work? Sure. Even though they're under the banner. Well, Still include them, but I mean, you know, but if you're talking recognize about the, where they were from. The point is, uh, Ric Flair should be on every wrestling Mount, Mount Rushmore. Yeah, I and if so. he's not, then there's something wrong. Well, with I it. think if we're, Mount you know? Rushmore is like, the we're talking like a genre. We're not talking about a specific company. You know what I mean? Like, Mount Rushmore is for the best of the presidents. The best. It's not, yes. it's not a, for the best of politicians. Bingo. So... Let's just put who's up there the best, regardless of where sure. they're from. Which Ric Flair is definitely on it. Yeah. Just Larry, you don't even have to say a word. I know you agree with me. Uh, well, do just Larry was thinking about it, and you know what? Just Larry is going to have to disagree. What? <laughs> All right. So he, you know wait, what? just Larry. Wait a minute, because Duke just had a physical reaction. I'm sick. Are guy. you saying that Ric Flair this would not be on the Mount Rushmore of wrestling? No, what Just Larry is saying is Ric Flair will not be on everyone's Mount Rushmore. There's only one Mount Rushmore, Just Larry. There's only one. That's the point of that's the point of the Mount Rushmore question. That there's only one, so you have to pick. No, well, little little infighting. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But that's the thing. When you're asking a multitude of people, yeah, who should be up there? Yeah, well, of not 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 a small group, not. Hey, let's ask five people. You're asking a multiple hundred. Okay. Depending on where you are, thousands. All right. From different age groups, eras, where they watch wrestling, et cetera. That's on them to and figure that out, though, Just Larry. We're talking about the Mount Rushmore of wrestling. So, yeah, if you want to say WWE, whatever, because it's shorthand for professional wrestling. I think everyone understands that. And There's only one things. Mount Rushmore. If we had 70 Mount Rushmores, then what's the point of this question at all? See that? See that, Larry? Now sit Don't there make and think me about agree it. with the Duke, Th just Larry. I'm going to get wrong. very mad. 
Sit I'm going to get very about what you did wrong. Okay. Can we well, move on from this idiotic right. question? I'm right done. Again. I'm, I'm aggravated well, well, with you. Well, 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 let just let us ask this. Both of you have already said you're one, but who, who are your other three? Well, that's very simple. All right, let's hear what Duke has to say. It's going to be some nerd answer. I, Stay I, out of this. I, I, I can bet. <laughs> Stay out of this. Here, go ahead. Because the WWE doesn't own all of wrestling, I'm not going to put no, in I, my no, to stop. Toyota. Stop. What? What? The Mount Rushmore oh. of wrestling. Oh, all of wrestling. Yes. Oh, that's easy. It's Mount Rushmore, you idiot. I've just said that. Ric Flair. Yes. Okay. Manami Toyota. Hulk Hogan. Okay. And Ricky Dozen. Both. What? Get that's out right. of here. That's two Japanese. That's stupid. That's two Japanese legends. No, because you're oh. part of Mount Rushmore. Okay. Part of the the point of Mount Rushmore is picking people who exemplify the spirit of, not necessarily were the technical best people. No, I don't know what you're Ooh. talking. About. I don't know what you're talking. So, about. so for to, for, for me, I'm a, I don't care about wrestling. I hate wrestling. I hate you even more right now. Oh, probably not. So my Mount Rushmore, I agree, Ric Flair and Hogan on there. Okay. Okay, Ooh. but I also think you need to put, and and you're gonna you need to put I'm Vince McMahon on there. Head. He's not a wrestler. He's wrestled. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> now, now, just Larry, watch, mm -hmm. watch Duke now. Try and tell me why his lover boy Vince McMahon shouldn't be on there. I, he'll get honorable mention. That's fine. You, it's, a, no. it's a statue. He's my friend. There's no honorable mention. He's my friend. No. Get I'm the hell out. Of, to... You know what, just Larry? I have to move on. Kofi Kingston twerks in Las Vegas. Oh, God. Okay. God Why? help us all. Why did he do it? God help because us all. Because the New Day won the tag team championships once again. Boom, 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 boom. That boom. sounds more like something you do when you lose a bet, not when no. you win. He put the belt <laughs> on backwards and twerked. Oh, Jesus. That's right. Just Larry, what'd you think about that? Just Larry didn't like it. <laughs> That's it. That's the best you'll hear. There's nothing more to say. It didn't I, do I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care what any of the fans have to say to Just Larry. Just Larry was not for it. Just Larry was happy that they won. Uh, Larry, I'm giving you the bell because you're, you're, you're starting. You're really starting to scare me, Larry. Uh, the, 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 the number one story in pro wrestling, according to Duke. By the way, we have to put that caveat. That, uh, that no good piece of garbage, Kevin Owens, had the audacity to attack my friend, <laughs> my Ooh. friend. Vince McMahon. You don't have friends. Oh, your friend who you don't want in the Mount Rushmore wrestling? Okay. And he made Vince yeah. McMahon bleed his own blood. What a great friend you are. With friends like you, who needs enemies? He made Vince McMahon bleed his own blood. I don't believe it because I don't believe Vince McMahon bleeds human blood. I believe there's some sort of black ooze inside of there. No, it was like, real. You were so X Files and then that real. oil stuff no. that comes out of their eyes? It was very real and it was very scary. Okay. I'm concerned Ooh. about Vince McMahon's health. <laughs> My I'm, I'm concerned about his mental health. Well, he got headbutted. Well, okay. Well, then, then my concern is justified. No, Just Larry, can we? You got to end us on this love fest of Vince McMahon here. Just Larry like loves Vince. Oh, God. that's right. See, a, uh, I'm uh, surrounded uh, by uh, imbeciles. See, uh, see. Just Larry has been a fan for many years. Just Larry. You know, mm. but what Owens did made Just Larry a, a, a little happy. Happy? Did you just say happy? Yeah. All right, just Larry. All right, you know, you two can nerd out about this if you want. I didn't watch it. I don't care. But here's what oh, I think. Here's oh. what I think about you all agreeing with Vince McMahon. Stupid idiot. <laughs> all that? of you. Stupid idiot. That's, that's what you get for trying to ban with the Boston bad boy. Just Listen, I, I'm on the side of right. And if just Larry goes off the line, I'm going to teach him to get back in line. Because if he starts getting dragged into your maelstrom, I'm just trying to help a friend out here. <laughs> just Larry, do you have anything to plug? This week, no. I'm, I'm pretty much just, just solo this week. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's, it's, just, it's just Larry and a bottle of wine. That's it. That's all that's going on over that's there. That's it. That's it. Yeah. What well, kind, wait, is it a red wine, a white wine? What is it, like a blush, a spritzer? Come on. You got to fill it. spritzer. People want to know just Larry. <laughs> just Larry only drinks the finest red. The, fi the finest red? Ripple. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go tell everybody just Larry's <laughs> His name is Just Larry. Larry, don't ever come back on the show again. Larry, you're welcome here anytime. It was fun to not have to sit and listen to Duke go on and on and on. Even though you agreed with him, we'll talk about that off the air. 
You've heard what I think. Now, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm a jerk? Maybe something in between? Yes and yes. Head over to Facebook. Head over to Twitter. Type in Duke Loves Wrestling and let me know. I'm not a fan of Just Larry, by the way. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. Just Larry's here and he's well, here to stay. He's a little out of his mind. Uh, and, and folks, seriously, check out the Facebook. I mean, we update this thing constantly with the latest yeah, photos. You really should get matches. a life when it comes to this I stuff. I mean, the whole nine yards. It, it's just unbelievable the content that we have, the best content out there. <laughs> you got to check it out. Yeah, check it out. Do you know you? how many people visit our, our uh, Facebook? Uh, no, because a I lot. try not to be involved there if at all possible. You tag Facebook me right on this now. Facebook. Having conversations and talking wrestling. And Boy, you would think that we had something better to do with all this powerful technology we have. Well, there's nothing better than pro wrestling. Hey guys, this is Chelsea, the Wrestling Femme, and you're listening to Duke Loves Wrestling. You know, you, you work so hard, Boston Bad Boy. I know. Boy, thank and, you. And finally, to, for, just, thank you for finally acknowledging all the work I do to keep this show going yeah. every week in, no. week out. You work so hard to find somebody oh. to give me a hard time on this show. I don't have to work hard okay. to find someone that doesn't like you. Let me tell you that. It's a very easy job to find someone who disagrees with you and thinks you're a boob. But then you turned on Just Larry. No, listen. I'm, I'm a okay. realist. You I subscribe to reality. That was a heel turn. No, he, 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 got, he got in line. Oh, is that Just what he Larry. did? Is that what he did? He Listen, agreed with me. Just Larry. That's what he did. Just Larry's been drinking. All right, he yeah, admitted. Yeah, well, he definitely so been drinking that ripple. He's, he's yeah. drinking ripple. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's like had Fred a long Stanford. day. Yeah, he was on his own. I don't yeah. know what that means. I, that frightens me. <laughs> Does I, is he, I hope he was wearing pants for well, the interview. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. But yeah. I, I just hope he was. So. Yeah, that was a good song. Remember that song? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Yeah, Mario Winans. Oh my God! I Great song. I don't know that song. Yeah. Is that like one of your easy listening songs? Well, it, it could You do be. like easy listening. I do. I'm big. Listen, man. Bob Seger's in Boston tonight. I oh, am, I am Bob. so excited about that. You know, I, I, listen, okay. I like Bob. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the songs. It's the Everybody knows it. It's, it's, a, it's a soundtrack of my life. Bob Seger. <laughs> Which is just hysterical okay. to me because you are not from the Midwest. <laughs> you don't have a beard. Well, you have kind of a beard. I do have a beard. Um, you don't have a motorcycle. Well, it's okay. Uh, you don't chain smoke no. like Bob Seger does on Definitely stage, not. by the way. Well, that's all right. Um, Bob Seger, if I'm Bob Seger, I, I, sh I, I, let it, I, re I retired on the high note. Because I think Bob, the live show, he's, he's struggling a bit. Turn because, the page. Oh, God, that song... If okay. I never hear it again, it'll be too soon. That's a great song. And it only got worse because Metallica covered it. Yeah, true. And it was just true. like, how do we turn this more to a funeral dirge? Yeah. Turn the page, great story song Absolutely. of the era. Absolutely. But like like uh, American Pie, never need to hear it again. Well, I get it. We get what they, they did what they were supposed to do, and, and let's move on. You're a curmudgeon. You know that? You really are. I'm, I, I am a realist. Yeah, whatever. I live in reality. Unlike you, who thinks wrestlers are your friends and you're afraid of the big bad boogeyman. Well, they are my man. friends. You, and you know who's one of my good friends? Uh, April Hunter. Do you who, have imaginary friends? Are, is, are you living in the land of make-believe like yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes, I am. I did like the land of make-believe. See, that, that was cool. But Mr. I Rogers, grew up. Mr. Rogers taught me how to tie my shoe, by the way. I was going to say, I thought you were going to say Mr. Rogers was a rest professional wrestling fan. <laughs> yeah, he probably was. Fred Rogers. Listen, but uh, April Hunter, yeah. who we've had on the show before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Red, fantastic actress, wrestler. Yep. Uh, she's, she does everything. Everything. She just, and she's a nerd, which yeah. I love. Well, really Boy, highly intelligent. Than that, doesn't cool, cool lady. Um, she was stuck in the hurricane. Really? Down in Florida, yeah. Oh, is she down there full time? Yeah, that's where she that's lives. Where she, lives she, right. she has her, her properties down there. Yep, yeah. Um, which is so really, where whereabouts? I, what, it's the middle down coast. Down there. I don't pay attention <laughs> to Florida. Down in Florida. <laughs> anything yeah. beyond anything yeah. south of the actual northern border of exactly. Florida. It's all one thing. But here's here's what's crazy. So the the hurricane's coming, right? Yep. She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay on my property and bringing stuff in and all that good it's stuff. Absolutely right? crazy, dude. She gets stung by hornets. Oh my god! I think it was hornets. She gets stung hornets? by hornets. Yeah. And she's allergic, obviously. Well. Because she's April. So, of course, she's allergic. <laughs> two EpiPens. No. Not one, two. So here she is, stuck in a hurricane. Yep. Jabbing herself in the leg with an EpiPen. Boom. Because the Hornets wanted to get in the house, too. And guess what? You're not getting any, any hospital. No, no ambulance is coming to pick you up. Listen, she had to ride that she sucker is a, out. She is a friend of the show. Yeah. Smarten up. 
Well, she's tough. I got to tell her. She's tough. Well, I know, but she's tough. I'm not questioning her toughness. Yeah, because she, she survived. Why, she's okay, folks, by the but way. But why put yourself through that? Yeah, it was tough. She could have come hung out with us. I know. In I the know. bunker, in the yeah. secret location. Yeah, she would have been It's warm, it's dry. Yep. yep. It's like a Bob Seger song. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Shout out to April Hunter. I'm glad that you're okay. We've got um, tonight. Oh, okay. This is going in the Who wrong needs direction tomorrow? right now. Yeah, well, I was doing it like Neil Diamond, though. Is that what it is? I wonder if it's Neil Diamond ever covered Bob Seger. I bet he has. He probably has. Who hasn't covered Bob Seger? I know, but Neil Diamond. That's a whole other show we could talk about Neil Diamond. I, love, I know you I, love, I, Neil I love Neil Diamond, too. I love Neil Diamond as well. Of course And that's equally frightening. Yeah, we should do a whole, I think we could dedicate a whole segment of the show one time to, to your Diamond. musical tastes. My musical tastes how is ridiculous unbelievable. Let me tell you are. something. I, and I was telling you this offline. Miles Davis. Okay. Jay-Z. Okay. And Bob Seger, you know, when they, but hold on, when they do the soundtrack for the story of my life, those three artists will be playing. I, here's the, the thing, thing, though: uh, Miles Davis, universally regarded as a genius, in he's the musical greatest genre. of all time. Yeah, uh, I'm not a particular fan of hip hop, but I understand that Jay Z is also regarded as a musical genius, greatest in in his genre. Sure, Bob Seger, don't uh, don't do it, don't do it to yourself. Eh, you don't know, do it to yourself. Songwriter, great. You know, he sold a lot of records. Not considered a milestone guy, though. According to who? Uh, according to me. Okay, and, well, that's the problem. But the thing is, I don't <laughs> think know? that Bob Seger goes on the Mount Rushmore of musicians, whereas the other two guys totally are in the running. Well, he's on my Mount Rushmore. No, but there's only one Mount Rushmore, <laughs> Here just we Larry. Here, Here we, we go, go again. again. Yeah, there, yeah. there you go again. Right, well, do you have any listener submitted questions? No, I don't. You can well, imagine. No. Well, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about this and going through our questions, which are, again, listeners... Come on, get with it here. But I was actually talking to my friend Wrestling Jay. Oh yes, and uh, you know I don't really like him. Because really? He's, because he's a friend of yours, I I don't really particularly like. <laughs> you him know why much. you don't like him? Because you have imaginary friends, and I have real friends, yeah. and you're okay. jealous. That's yeah. what this is. That's what it is. Sure. Jealous. It's it's you know it's ugly. It doesn't suit you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need to pull it together. <laughs> uh, Wrestling Jay was talking about the Kevin Owens match. Okay. And uh, the headbutt. Well, the, the famously, and, and you can fill us all in on it because I don't really care, but he wanted to know, because uh, he sent me the, a clip, uh, and it, to me it did, was that a real headbutt? I mean, he really bled, I think. Was that real blood? And is that a shoot or is this part of the show? Well, no. I mean, Vince McMahon coming out, uh, that was part of the show. It looks like they're trying to work an angle with Owens where he's going to take on like the old McMahon family or something. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that was, that was a real headbutt. And... Vince McMahon really bled. I don't think that that was the plan, though. I think the plan was to uh, definitely do the headbutt to make it look as real as possible. But I don't think that the blood was really because that was national TV. Right. They don't. This is PG era. They're, they're not going to do that on purpose, you know. So they're but, not going for blood anymore. No, no, no. Really? Not in PG era. No, 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 no. See, that's how much I don't. No. Right. To me, it was like, oh, if you get some blood here and there. No. Obviously, they're not doing like the barbed wire stuff. No. But I figured once in a while I get a little. They don't want to do that. They really? don't want to do that. No, not at all. Because well, it's funny. Because, I mean, kids. but I think that you know, it's so it's that's what occurred to me. It's either part of the show yep. where Owens is living out the fantasy of everyone who's ever worked for Vince McMahon, and really just giving him a good one. Like if well, I get the opportunity to break this guy's nose, I'm going to take it. Well, hold on a second. Don't don't wish that on anybody, especially Vince McMahon, because that's just not nice. Well, um, but no. But here, here's the, this is going to this leads to my question. Uh, oh um, my boo! Especially coming from what we've talked about earlier in the show and what we talked about last week, what at this so now at this point, with all that's going on, what the hell is a guy like Vince McMahon doing, getting into physical confrontations with his own talent? Well, he's he's Vince McMahon. He's the chairman of the WWE. I mean, he's the the literally the most important figure in the history of pro wrestling at this point. Um, it's interesting. To see him in the ring with a talent and having some kind of back and forth. The whole headbutt thing, that was pretty serious. But um, it's interesting. All right. Uh, interesting in the way that, like, you know, uh, puddles forming from a rainstorm are interesting. Why, Vince McMahon doesn't belong in the ring. You even said he's not a wrestler. Okay. You just said okay. 10 minutes ago he's not a wrestler. Okay. So, so tell me why Kevin Owens needs uh, what you know, a rub from Vince. Clearly, it's the kiss of death, uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. Owens has a record, a winning record. as a, He's a champion, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, because he's, I did look this up. He's been Universal Champion. He's been NXT he's Champion. champion. He's, he's beat been... Cena many yeah, times. Yeah, Tell yeah. me why this guy needs to fight a geriatric like Vince McMahon. Well, everyone 
would love to be in the ring with Vince McMahon. Because no, everybody wants to be in the ring with their boss. So we want to live out our fantasy to beat the crap out of our boss. But that doesn't work in it there. It establishes the, the, the talent. Oh, get the hell out of here. It, it brings he's, him up to the next said, level. He's already established. Well, he's been champion. What other level is there going? But it brings him up to the next level. What level? The next level. What level? The next level. Which is? Which is like... Uh, nothing. Which is nothing. How you well. have nothing. Let me tell you. This is what this is about. This is... Coming from the McMahon and the McMahons and 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 son-in-law on the leash, it's the same old song and dance. Okay, Owens is already, as you nerds call it, over. Everybody likes him, even when he made a little kid cry. It didn't do much to his reputation. He's the bad guy. Okay, we'll take it. So now Vince is coming down from his little ivory tower because right, Owens is, is too big just and now he's going to knock him down a few stop, pegs. Stop it right now. He's going to smite him. Stop it. He's going to come down and he's going to smite him. No, look. Owens made Vince McMahon bleed. That's Owens? A, that's a big deal. You know what? Owens made Vince McMahon a lot of effing money. That's okay. what Owens did. Okay. That's what he made Vince McMahon. A okay. lot of effing money. Okay. And so here's what's happening. Vince McMahon and the McMahon clown car are going to roll into town so derogatory. for two reasons. For two reasons. One, because Vince has this fantasy that he's a young man and he wants to be in the ring and he fantasizes that he's an actual wrestler and that his kids are wrestlers. Uh, his son-in-law, uh, actual wrestler at one time. But I think the, the ship has sailed on that, on that angle. Triple H can still go, man. Okay. Stop it. He can but still it go. It doesn't matter because the yeah. point is the fact that a top guy like Owens is wrestling Vince McMahon is nothing but Vince living out a perverse fantasy. He's taking a guy's career in his hands to work out a perverse fantasy that that he's he wants to be on TV and he wants to look like he can take a hit and X, Y, and Z. What's really happening is he's devaluing Owen's career. Would you give me a break? This man. is on par no. with what he does for everybody. When it's a, a female wrestler... He gets her knocked down a few pegs if she starts to get up too high. If it's a male wrestler who wants to go do a movie, nope, you're locked in a contract. If it's a guy who's had so many <clears throat> concussions that he can't wrestle anymore, no, you're locked in your contract and you're going to be some assistant whatever and go on some horrible reality TV show yes. until the day you just turn to dust. This is what he's doing. So here's what we got. We've got a man who's got a mania and he's totally self-involved and wants to be on TV, which is sick. We've got him taking another guy's career and putting it in the dump. In the dump. Are you dump. kidding me right now? You, you sound like Tell one me of what it does. Owens has already wrestled a, a, a cadre of top talent. Why is he going to wrestle McMahon, McMahon's kid, McMahon's daughter, and then what? They're all going to beat the guy up. This is what this is going to happen because they, the McMahons can't lose. They think in life they can't lose, so certainly they're not going to lose on TV. So what they're going to do is they're going to beat the crap out of him, and then what's the, what's the finishing, the final thrust? They'll have Triple H come in, and a real wrestler will finally end him. And that'll be it. And then what? You can't complain? Triple H, he's a real wrestler. Meanwhile, they walk around patting each other on the back like they did something new and innovative when they're creatively bankrupt, and it's just to make themselves feel better, which has the bonus in Vince's mind of putting Owens back in his place. Right. Don't you ever think you're going to get bigger than me. All right, look, let me tell you something right now. Doing anything with a McMahon literally makes careers. Get the hell Kevin out of Owens here. Kevin Owens has had a lot of success. Yeah. But mm -hmm. being with a McMahon, he'll be immortal now. Get the hell okay? out of here. Okay, in the wrestling world, you know what? he'll be it. Yeah. Because that's what happens when you get in the you ring know who, with a you know, you know who that only okay? ever worked out for? Triple H. Because he put a ring on it so he could cash the effing checks. You're just so you're He terrible, just wanted man. in you're to the Scrooge, the Scrooge McDuck bank vault no. that McMahon has that he swims in his money. Now Triple H has the key. No. So that's all he cares no. about. The, so other than doing that and being with a McMahon and being in that family, you, no one's getting helped. Look. And you know what? If Owens, I have to say, had a little bit of spine, he would have told McMahon to screw. You're being rude right because now. Because that's happened before, hasn't it? You're being it? rude it's right now. It's happened before. Who did it? All right. You know it happened before. It, when? Who? Who was it? CM Punk. CM Punk. Now, a guy I can't stand because I think he went above board trying to be a friggin' UFC rest, uh, fighter. Don't start that but stuff. But so here's CM Punk at the top of his game, at the top, at the pinnacle. A he's a, at one point a major, major guy in the WWE. What happens? What's the plot that gets revealed to him that here's what we're going to do next week? Tell me. Well, they wanted to have Punk 
I think it was at WrestleMania, Wrestle Triple H. They were going to put him in a whole interesting storyline leading up to and a match with Triple H. And basically, Punk said to him, I'm not going to wrestle this effing dinosaur. I've already made my way to the top. What the hell are you doing here? I'm not going to stand for this. And he actually had some very interesting quotes, did he? He did a little bit of panache. So I'll give credit where credit is due. What did he say to them? Because, again, you have all this written down somewhere. I don't know why you... What did CM Punk say to the McMahons? He told Vince McMahon, with Triple H sitting right there, I don't have to wrestle him. He has to wrestle me. Look at that. That's balls. He said, I don't want to be in a match with your doofus (laughs) son-in-law. Doofus. Well, perfectly said. Okay. Doofus is such a great word, it's not used enough. And he's absolutely right. You know why Triple H is a doofus? Because he cashed in his tough guy attitude to be a lapdog for the McMahons. Oh my goodness. And be their quote-unquote muscle and just do whatever they want because he wants the keys to the vault. And he's got him now. He's got him. So what does he care? He sold out. Triple H is a sellout. CM Punk wasn't going to sell. And you know what? It ended his career in the WWE. But you know what? He can still sleep at night. I don't know if you could say the same of Triple H. Look, I, I just think that every week you just go off the rails. When no, you, when and you here's talk what about I'm going to do. McMahon. Here's what I'm going to do. And it's ridiculous. Gonna, okay. What is Vince McMahon thinking? You know, we touched upon it earlier, and again, last week, about concussions. About the ongoing issue with NFL and, and, and WWE. What if Vince McMahon goes into the ring as the owner of a publicly traded company, and gives one of his own employees a massive concussion. Are you kidding me right now? Don't, e- as- don't even bring that up. Why? Because you, we, you huh? would never he, want, wait, wait. Don't speak that he into wants, existence. He wants to be a wrestler. <sighs> we know that wrestlers get concussions and all kinds of injuries. What if he, as the owner, goes in there, and what if he headbutts Owens? Let's say it's a reverse situation. Knocked the guy unconscious. Gave him a massive concussion that led to a... A flare-up of, uh, you know, this uh, CTE stuff. Why does he want to be involved in that? That's insane. That's absolutely insane. That shows you how safe Vince McMahon is. No. Because he'll put himself in there because he knows, and he and his family know, that they will do the right thing I'd and put not my, hurt anybody. I'd put my money on. Vince would try and sue himself to get some more money tax-free That's the, for, and, for, for being a wrestler and, you know, and having some concussion look, issues. Vince McMahon... You're a friend of mine. Oh, please. You know I appreciate you. Vince, you don't need I friends apologize. like him. I'm, you need a friend like me who's going to tell you, I apologize. you know what, you're going, you're, you have no, you, I, you're going I off I believe in you, Vince, and please. I know that all these negative things that the Boston Bad Boy says it's about not you negative. every week, it's just not true. It's reality. Okay? It's reality. It's just not true. He's wrestling in the ring. He's doing all these things to his own talent where he's trying to sandbag their careers. He's trying to bury him. And now, I don't even think he's thought of it. What if he injures... One of his own people. And what if he now, is he then going to deny? Is the WWE then going to be able to deny that wrestling's dangerous? Listen, I'm going to tell gonna, you something. Are they going to deny that head injury doesn't occur if their own boss is in the ring doing I'm, it to other? If that happens, tell, tell me tell what happens something. if that happens. I'm going to tell you something. If Vince McMahon gets cold feet about working with Kevin Owens because of this ridiculous rant that you just went on. He'd be the smartest thing you're, he you're ever did. It'd be the smartest thing he ever did. You're literally going to upset a lot of people out there. Who? Just understand that. I, okay. You know what? The WWE universe. That's uh-huh. what, oh the okay? w, the same WWE universe who didn't want to talk about these concussions. Right. They're going to be upset about this now. That's it's it. absolutely That's ridiculous. It. No thank you to Just Larry for joining us this week because he's he's very rude. Oh please. You Head could do Facebook. more, a little more Just Head Larry in your life. YouTube, type in Duke Loves Wrestling. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the show, folks. I got to get out of here because just like he always does, the Boston Bad Boy is taking it too far. And this negative attitude Listen, towards Vince McMahon is unfortunate. I'm sorry you know? that real life issues are invading your little wrestling men show. All right, okay? that's enough. This is real life. That's enough. I'm, this I'm is real life, and you need to get Look, with it. Vince McMahon Listen, is Vince, a national Listen, treasure. he just needs a smart He's enough. He's supposed to be so smart. Treasure. Treasure.